you know, the, the internet was coming of age and kind of quite mature by that time. Uh, and we were realizing that technology was really redefining the rate of progress in general. You know, anything that you could put on uh, the curve of Moore law, Moore's law was accelerating. And space was starting to become part of that. So we could connect the dots and say that, you know, this is something that's not going to be in your grandchildren's lifetime. This is definitely going to be in your lifetime. And not only that, it may be the big, biggest business opportunity yet. Mm. You know, it's, it's the only business which do, it doesn't have the sky as a limit. Uh, it, it scales, <laughs> it, it scales uh, you know, more than the carrying capacity of the Earth. So you know, if we worry about 7 billion humans, um, the only way we're going to get you know, any, any, uh, any future in uh, millions of people living in, in space, uh, billions of people living and working and playing in space, uh, is to allow them to live there. So it was you know, folks like Larry Page and Richard Branson, and Charles Simone, and Ross Perot Jr. and others that, that kind of made an outside bet on, you know, maybe this isn't that crazy. Mm. Uh, and they let us get a start on it. And uh, from a startup standpoint, we're, we're just like any other startup, you know, except we had a, maybe a more complicated and long-term business model. Uh, but the steps to get from here to there, for me, are still very clear. And in many ways, we're, we're not even an aerospace company or a space company. We're, we're a resource company. We model ourselves after the, the energy industry and the mineral industry, and they have timelines that last 10, 20, year, 20 30 years. They have funding levels which take billions of dollars for a project, uh, and in many cases, they have to invent new technology for what they're doing, but they do it because what they are providing is essential, uh, and of course, the price only goes up. So. Um, this is merely this place in history. And I, I actually like being here today in the Computer History Museum because it's not like computers are over. <laughs> we're, 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 we're still in an environment where, where that art continues. And, and space is also something that is not the future anymore. It's the present. And this is something that we're past the government age and science age of space. We're in now to the industrialization of space. And it's not something that's a few years out. We're, we're a couple years into it already.